Well, it looks like I won't need to cut the grass today. So, I'm going to do another project on my mower. And what I'd like to do is put this receiver on the back of the mower. So I can put a, a trailer back there and tow around a little garden trailer or move my boat trailer around the yard and stuff. This is a two inch receiver, straight tube I got from Harbor Freight about a year ago. It's been sitting on the shelf waiting for me to have a chance to do this project. It's really long. I'm sure my receiver doesn't need to be that long. It just needs to be long enough to get the end of this covered in there and a place to put this bolt through. So it wouldn't need to be any longer than maybe that, about half as long as it is here. And I need to uh, put the grass bagger attachment on the back of the machine and look at how much clearance I have there, take a couple measurements. This frame is added onto the back of the machine to mount that grass bagger to. I'm going to open the garage door so I don't fumigate myself and I'm going to start it up and turn it around so I can get the bagger attached on there. So that's how that bagger goes on there. Just sits on top of this bracket and you pull this pin out of each side and put the pin in there. And it's got this bar that you would ch attach to this lever. Now you can dump the grass. And I just wanted to see if there was anything going to interfere with me putting a trailer hitch on there. Looks like I have plenty of room to work with. I'll actually take a ruler and measure the distance from the frame out to the catcher there. And the feet are separated out on the ends here. They're not going to interfere. It's going to go mount that part of the frame somewhere right in here. It's only going to be maybe that long. So I get the fit in there easy. I'm going to cut this piece off right here. Save this nice piece of my scrap pile. And then grind off all of the painted areas where I'm going to be welding. Alright, now I can just get it lined up exactly where I want it. 
and we clamp it in place. Now, before I start welding on this thing, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Well, I could get in there and try to weld that last edge underneath the back of the frame there, but I don't think it adds enough to be worth the effort. Yeah. 